Hello everyone, today's video is about Easter boxes 2019. I know it sounds crazy, Easter boxes, but as if you're my subscriber, you know, I'm trying to have something interesting and unusual as the um, bags or boxes or last, last year I had umbrellas for the Easter stuff, the year before I had juvie car seats as the Easter baskets. So this year the idea came to me maybe two months ago. I decided to use the LOL empty boxes from the um, Target store, but you can find them almost everywhere and they are free. So this year I went to Target maybe a month ago and I found um, one of these boxes. This is the opening, the only opening. And I also find, found the LOL pad box. This is kind of smaller. So I did not know how many items I will have. So just in case I got one bigger one, one smaller one. Um, next time when I went to the uh, Target, I found another box. So because I needed three boxes of the same size, I, I found two in wall. Um, I'm sorry, two in Target and one in Walmart. That's why there is like different pictures on those. But in the middle, you can see the final project. That's how the Easter box will look like this year. Um, I feel it looks so cool. I have a little bit of decorations in this room, so it, it's not that perfectly visible, but I put I um, put all of the stuff that I have uh, for my eight-year-old into the box, and I did use my tissue papers. So I got I got tissue papers from dollar store, and I love them so much because they have this glitter um, little stuff. So I wrapped every single item in a tissue paper and put it in the box. So. And then I used the wrapping paper from Walmart. And also I put a little bit of um, Easter grass in front just to make it bright, I guess. And then I also used some um, Christmas, um, how do you call those stuff for packaging? But so that's how it will look. So basically, I did not use the top box. But if you have not that many items to pack, it's probably better to take the smaller box than the bigger one. So it will not be like half empty. But I'm going to show you um, what I got for my kids. So eight-year-old already everything is packed. But for my seven-year-old and for my five-year-old girls... I have everything up for you to show and explain where did I get it and why. So usually I don't buy too many candies for the holidays just because they don't need to eat so much chocolate in one day. And I was trying to find something useful. Um, I cannot tell you that it's cheap because, because I don't like cheap stuff. It's not like I just like something quality looking like. So this year, as usual, my girls will get the bubbles. And this is like mini bubble basket. I found it in Walmart for a couple dollars. It, it looks a little bit too tiny for the seven-year-old, but I like that it says no spill and you can refill it. So basically, um, we will give a try for this bubbles this year. That's how they look like. And if something, I will buy them regular a little bit later for the summer. Also, my girls will get this year the belt bags. This belt bag I found in Justice online store. Uh, we already had like little backpacks for the girls. We already had like um, cross shoulder bags, but they don't use it for some reason. So I decided maybe this ones because they have like an easy clip at the back. So maybe they will use it better. And it's easy, <coughs> I'm sorry, it's easy to put them on. 
So because my seven year old likes uh, blue color, so she will get this one. My five year old, five year old, she loves pink. Oh my gosh! So this also from Justice and. It's like shiny pink. And for my eight-year-old, it's like unicorn colors. I found it on Amazon, but I cannot show you because I decided to put at least one box up completely done so you can see the final pro project. Also, the girls will have these little stickers. This is the bunny one. Oh, this is the monkey one because my little one loves monkeys. The next item I got for them, this little springs, they are of the same color. They had them before, but they broke and they really love them. And this is the toy of my childhood. That's why I was super excited. I found this in five below for a dollar or something. The next item I have is a, um, what is that? Poopsie. This is the Poopsie something new. My um, eight-year-old asked me so much about this stuff. So basically, this is the mold or like a toy in a shape of poop, which I don't like, but whatever. And you open it from the bottom and there is some type of slime. There is kind of different type of slime can be, it's like a surprise slime, plus there is a little surprise toy. And the toys are really cute. Their eyes are so adorable so for my five-year-old i got the pink color you can see the colors it's kind of blind blind bag but you can see the color uh for my seven-year-old i got blue one and for my eight-year-old i got the green one and girls there is like a uh yellow one so cool I didn't want to buy for myself just because of the color, but none of my girls excited about the yellow color. So I'm like, that's okay. Maybe next time, you know? So the next item is the sunglasses case. This is also from justice. They had like 40% off sale and original price was five ninety, but I got it for three something dollars which is amazing deal because everything else like from um what do we have like other little stores it's five and up so this was three something so and they have the initials so this is initial k the other one is s and the big one will have a on the on it just because the boxes are lol i couldn't I could not buy something, no, I could not pack something without LOL. So I got them LOL pets, which is, uh, which was on sale. It was like two or three dollars off in Target. Amazing deal when they have like this sale. I also got this LOL hair girls from um, Barnes and Nobles because it was sold in my stores. And actually from this line, I like only the hair gold dolls because those fuzzy pads, you have to wash them. I was not excited or about the smaller, smaller bottle you can get pet or, or a little baby sister. So I don't know, I was not excited though they are new and my girls never had them. So I decided to buy the bigger, version of this we have already three dolls from this collection and they are amazing so each girl will have her own lol pet and lol hair goals the next item we need to be practical so my seven-year-old will get this tried right sandals and um, I feel like blue, she has a lot of blue clothing items, so the silver and blue will match better. Um, so I decided to buy her a silver ones, and I like that the toes are closed. It's hard to find nowadays shoes with the closed to toes for her age. She is size 13 right now. So, but Stride Ride had them on Amazon on a pretty good sale, so I got this one for her. For my little one, 
I found even better, better version because it, it has a little bit better support from the back. This is, it says it's machine washable. I'm not sure about that, but sounds good. And they are pink and they were in a very good sale. Also Amazon. The next items, let us let me show you candy. So it's not too many candies this time. It's just, I think, three. So every year I'm buying something on a stick. So it's a chocolate a lollipop on a stick, something like that. Also, I got this uh, kids mix jelly bellies. So jelly beans, uh, they have very little packaging. And they look so cute and I did like that they uh, created kids mix because sometimes when you eat jelly beans they are yucky you know what I mean some some tastes are so terrible that even I cannot eat that but because kids mix should be perfect for kids I got them this is my fav one of my favorite brands of candy I have no idea what is inside this is target target only for target i don't know how you call that thing but this is the farm animals they have pig lindor or lint how you pronounce it they had the little sheep and my eight-year-old will get little chicken so they should be good because if you know the brand is good so candy should be good too yeah so my seven-year-old will have the same bunny and the same jelly beans all of that stuff also from my grocery store I found these books they are good for development I love something related to development for the kids to be in um, Easter baskets last year I got brain quest books but they didn't finish them yet so I decided to buy something different so these are the books they call them puzzles so basically there is a black and white picture and the items you need to find on the picture and color them. Looks perfectly good. This is the farm one. This is interesting one and I feel like this would be good for the boys too because, you know, it's just like so mystery. So, um, oh, this is the answer. So it's black and, little, and white drawings and there is a lot of little stuff you need to find and color. This one was $9.99, this one was $9.99, the other one I got a little different, it was like Jumbo Book of Puzzles, the same brand, but it was $12.99 from the same store. So it's kind of expensive, but at the same time it's a development, so it's better to buy something useful than, you know, like tons of candy so kids will just have cavities. So, oh, the little notebooks i got them from amazon they were um three in pack and they had set of unicorns so it was pink blue and purple notebook and they also had the pineapple ones they are adorable pineapples are also good uh, you know tropical fruit but for some reason my girls love the unicorns and they have the little unicorn pictures in the middle so, and they are small enough to put, like, to take them uh, to the store with us or car ride or something. So, little pen, little notebook, and ready to go. And the last items, let's be practical. I got them tons of t-shirts and one set of um, pages. So, this is the LOL t-shirt two of them the other one already packed they were from target and i did not see them two months ago so when we had lol birthday if you've seen my video so this a kind of new i would say so this is for my seven year old this one is for my five year old and we had another one for the eight year old also i found a perfect deal from children's place they had t-shirts for $4.99 or something the price was so good and the material the quality is amazing so they soft they 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 have like good touch feel when you touch them so it says unicorn power 
and it's blue the other one i like because it has like <laughs> some ice cream animals look looks also interesting and the last item um i found at h&m so each girl will have this very adorable jammies this is size 6 8 it's a long sleeve shirt and the pants from this collection this is like last year collection and i bought it in november last year so a couple months ago uh for the very good price and i'm in love with those animals they look so good and we have t-shirts from the same collection they love them they bright they colorful and i'm amazed with those ones also from h&m i just put it up like that i got this um history looking uh long sleeve shirts and i bought them in november last year so a couple months ago and they were just four dollars or maybe even less so basically it's like half a year after they launched them at the store but still the price was amazing they can wear them for easter they also will have like a regular easter dresses but you know just to go and do easter hunt somewhere it's easier to use like to dress up in leggings and long sleeve shirts uh you're gonna be flexible running all of that stuff also um just a suggestion usually you see a lot of rain boots as an easter baskets so this year i got my kids easter I mean, not Easter, just the rain boots. And because the kids are so small yet, and they, the, their shoes are pretty small too. So this is size 11, 13, and three little kids. So I was thinking to use the rain boots as the Easter baskets. But I feel like I will do this in a couple years when kids will be bigger and the shoes will be bigger. So you will be able to put more stuff in them like inside. But it's also a cool idea because you can find the bright shoes. These shoes are from Target Cat and Jack brand and they are amazing. And I would say they have sparkles in them and I would say they have they go size to size because I had to buy six pairs Um just to see if I need bigger size or smaller because my kids in between the sizes and I brought like three pairs back but my kids love them and they said that they will look good with their clothing and actually yes with the uh, new t-shirts I got them so this is my crazy idea for the Easter containers this year I'm hoping that you find at least one item which you will buy for your kid and this video would be very useful for you and happy Easter!